And basically, this is just the, the 12 months forward work programs. If there are any questions, um, Catherine is happy to answer that. So this is, and you'll remember the discussion that we've been having progressively over the last couple of months, looking for focus from the committees. What are we here to do? Not what are we here to talk about, but what are we actually here to do? So we're starting with the Auckland Development Committee that will clearly set out the decision making that is required over the next few months. So I guess we'll take it as read. And if there are any questions, Councillor Fletcher. Oh, thank you, Madam Chair. Mine, mine is a question at this stage, and it's to the CEO. Um, with regard to the work program here, we, we've got some pretty comprehensive um, efficiency targets, and I want to know what within this work program is being proposed that's going to assist us in terms of trying to get a rates cap. So can he give me um, where uh, the recommendations here um, are going to significantly meet his objectives in terms of actually being able to try and contain some costs. I'm not too sure if the Chief Executive, do you want to comment, Mr Chief Executive? Um, I, don't, I don't think I can without <coughs> only way I'm thinking about that at the moment. And I don't have the instant answer. Oh. I I'm happy for this to come back as a written report. Um, I guess, Councillor, I don't think we can sort of report back on this. The reason for having a forward work program is to save money, resources and time by being very clear about what the Auckland Development Committee is doing. We are setting out clearly the work program in hand as required, which is why if I am offending people by being particularly focused today about what we're doing <coughs> now, it is to save the inordinate amount of money that it costs to run these meetings. So I think the only answer is we know what we're doing, by when and why we're doing it, and that may well save money. Mad Madam Chair, um, in, in respecting uh, what you are endeavouring to do there, um, you would be aware that I still have some major concerns of the work program that's being undertaken through the Auckland Development Committee around the unitary plan, and I'm just wanting some comfort that we... Um, I, I still have a lot of concerns um, in that area, and I, you know, they are well recorded, but I just want to know that these are being closely monitored by our most senior officers. The answer to that is unequivocally yes. That's where the work program has come for, from, for that <coughs> reason. And I, I say, councillors, between Councillor Darby and myself, we, we remove anything that is superfluous, that is simply for interest, that is kind of um, <coughs> there because it pads out the report. We are utterly focused in making this committee work to do the business of this council. Any questions? Yes, Councillor Clough. It's just Councillor um, maybe the wording under Port Future Study on page 53, reason for the work. Uh, just, it's just, uh, I think that's a little bit narrow. Uh, it's no big deal, but <coughs> but wider because we we tried to get that Port Future Strategy to basically include the harbour, you know, and kind of extending out to the Gulf almost. But it's a bigger thing than just worrying about yeah. the port. And I just. It's just the wording. Point taken, um, councillor. We may need to just have a little bit of a look at the, in the interests of kind of space and a bit of a taken as yeah. read. So. And we'll then maybe on the Central Wharf strategy again, just to a degree, that's kind of that's been taken over. I would have thought to a degree by the Port Future Strategy. Okay. Um, councillor Webster. Yes, thank you, and Catherine. I. Sorry, I don't. I thought we were trying to do something in in the West Kumu Huapai sort of um, growth strategy, structure planning yeah. in that area. I think I I'll actually ask Penny Perrot to answer that. Her and I did have a discussion about that, and I can't remember what her exact response was. <laughs> so Penny. Right. 
I don't think that they would have the results if it started until August. So until we see that, we don't know when we will be bringing back anything to this committee. Okay. No, that's fine. I just wanted to, you know, because it is a hot topic, as you know. <laughs> okay. Great. That's fine. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Good. Councillor Penrose. Yeah, thank you, Madam Chair. It might be just a typo, but page 52, uh, Punui Structure Plan. It says Structure Plan uh, for Area Needed to be guide, the Guide Plan, Plan uh, Change 28. Uh, it should be 35. Uh, sorry about that. Yes, no right. Cool. Good catch. Thank you. <coughs> Councillor Wood. Yeah, just in relation to page 52, <coughs> yeah. downtown car park. Has the council made a decision that will relinquish that property, or what's the story? Is that, is that <coughs> Sorry, which which one, council? We'll num we'll just said Second we'll number these one. next time so people can say yep. number thirty-two. It's, it's, it's the downtown Second car park. Yep, Second gotcha. to the bottom. Yep. Through the chair, that's an area of work to be investigated, but no, no decisions been made in relation to that yet. But it's just signalling that there are some decisions to be made around that. Um, and that they'll be forthcoming. So, decisions required, okay. So that'll be coming back for this expressions of interest if, if we decide to do that or not, okay. And I think councillors, you know, we, we may need, we'll, we'll kind of tickety-boo this so it's a bit more useful, but the whole thing here is to try and give people a sense of <coughs> this is the work happening, this is how it's integrated, and this is how, you know, for the next few months the, yeah, the know, reports yeah, will come to us. Councillor Darby. Thank you. I think this is a, a really um, good cut. Um, and it, it may not capture everything, but I think it's got the, the real guts of our business. Uh, Madam Chair, there was one thing I meant, uh, we, we exhausted this, I thought we'd thrashed everything, and thank you, Catherine, for your great work here uh, with the Deputy Mayor on this. Um, I just had a thought last night, and that was, we did talk at one stage about housing and the issues around housing. We talked about the issues of legislation that um, will better support <coughs> the, 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 the tenants of houses. And I thought we were going to pursue that somewhere. Is that in, in this committee? And it was picking up on the comments of the economist Shambil Club. Yeah. Um, well articulated. And I think you and I were going to pick that up in yeah, our forward work program as well. Good point. And we haven't. Uh, uh, and I'll take responsibility for this. I've, Catherine and I sat and did a bit of a brainstorm on how we actually bring together a bit of a, 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 a housing summit, for want of a better word, with the subsets of Package. renters, security, warrant of fitness, um, you know, the, the, whole, yep. the, the whole big picture right through to, you know, um, social housing, the current state of play, working with our community housing providers. The whole housing picture in Auckland is incredibly complex at the moment, and I think we need a rational discussion. So this will appear next month for the, the timing of that. Yep, okay, good, good point, Councillor. Through the chair, it is actually already on there. You'll see a placeholder, so She's affordable even. housing program review. And we've deliberately kept that really broad at the moment, recognising that housing strategic action plan, which actually has many of those initiatives that Councillor Darby referred to, um, is in its final year of implementation. Housing Accord come out to its final year of implementation. Changes in government policy around the provision of social housing. Development Auckland coming on stream. Um, continuing concerns about affordability. A real need to take a comprehensive look at that whole package across okay, home, uh, home ownership and rental. Any other questions on yeah, Sorry, Councillor Webster? Just going back to, um, can I just clarify? So the way I read this, this is the forward work program for 2015. It's got the 9th of July up there, so. So through the chair, you've got two, attach or two bits to the attachment. <coughs> yeah. So the 9th of July table is what's coming, expected to come to you next month. Right. And then if you turn over the page, the 12 month, 12 for month forward. Yep, 12 so month forward work program. So that is looking 12 months ahead. So I'll be honest and say that I, I've, we've found it much easier to identify what's happening in the first six months of that 12 month period. 
then so you know it, it is quite hard to project out too far but I think we're reasonably confident that this at least covers you until the end of this calendar year and and some way into the next calendar year it sort of comes back to my question before could we put Kumu Huapai in there because it will be done in the next I just don't want people picking this up and thinking we're not going to do anything yeah um, and just under the um, Haraki Gulf Marine Spatial Plan, Auckland Council, do we actually need, <coughs> now I realise this is first cut and it's fantastic, but do we actually need to flag that it's not just Auckland Council? Oh, we've, took, we've put the oh. external stakeholder group, but it's actually multi-agencies and councils. Sure. Right, thank you. Just a technical. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we'll fine tune this as we go. Councillor Penrose, you're happy to move. Is there a seconder? Seconder. Your second, Councillor Webster will second that. I'll put those all in favour, please say aye. 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 Against, carried. Thank you for that. So, this is no extraordinary business. So now we move to our next item. Um, and we'll do, as we <coughs> talked about at the beginning of the meeting, the Three Kings Land Exchange. There isn't too much in there that I think has any <coughs> justifiable 